Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. And um, most often used treatment for neck pain, back pain, musculoskeletal stuff in the United States is actually Advil or ibuprofen. Um, and so I want to talk to you today a little bit about an alternative to Advil uh, for neck pain, back pain, musculoskeletal aches and pains. Because Advil never is going to fix the problem, okay? Because no one has ever had in the history of mankind an Advil deficiency. So taking Advil for neck pain is not going to fix the neck pain. It just masks it. It covers it up so you don't actually know that there's a problem there, even though the problem still exists. Matter of fact, if you look at one of the many, many side effects of Advil is neck pain. Uh, unexplained neck pain based off of WebMD. So taking Advil some comes, can sometimes actually create the problem you're actually trying to treat. Uh, if it does anything, it's just going to temporarily cover it up. So it's still there. So where does neck pain actually come from if not an Advil deficiency? Well, what we have found in 25 years experience is if, if one of the bones in the upper part of the neck uh, gets a little bit out of its normal position, then it changes the position of the head because your head sits on top of those bones. And so anywhere those bones go, the head pretty much has to go with it. Well, your brain's designed to be level always. So if one of the bones could have been, uh, got a little bit misaligned, and how that happens is uh, typically some sort of a trauma. And it could have been many years ago, a slip, a fall, an accident, uh, like a car accident, a sports injuries, anything that just takes a little bit of a jolt to the body is enough that it could actually move one of those bones a little bit out of position. Then as the body compensates for that misalignment, the muscles on one side have to stretch while the muscles on the other side contract because your body has to stay balanced. So if your body leans a little bit, then that means one side's going to pull, the other side's going to shrink. And then over time with gravity pushing down, that asymmetry starts to create discomfort. One side's working harder than the other side. So a lot of times it'll go down into the upper back, the trap muscles across the shoulders, because these muscles are also working hard, just trying to hold that head and keep it supported. So what we have found is if we find a misalignment in the upper part of the neck, then if we can correct that, then that then balances the brain back over the body, creates that symmetry again, so the body is more balanced instead of trying to get balanced, and then the muscles start to relax. Um, as they start to relax, obviously pain goes away. So rather than taking an Advil, a very unnatural approach, try a more natural approach something that doesn't put anything into the body, something that has zero side effects. I mean, you, there are no negative side effects from keeping your body aligned, uh, only positive ones. So try to find an upper cervical chiropractor. Upper cervicals focus all of our, upper cervical doctors focus all of our attention on keeping the head over the body and keeping the body perfectly balanced. As long as there's perfect balance within the body, there'll be perfect symmetry. As long as there's perfect symmetry, then the muscles won't be antagonistic, fighting against each other, trying to keep the body level. So if you live in the Charlotte area, we would be the upper cervical doctor for you. Uh, we're located on Arrowwood Road, and that includes anything. We have people that drive here um, an hour, two hours, some people even other states to get here. Um, but give our office a call, 704-588-5560. We never charge for the initial consultation to find out what your needs are. You'll sit down with the doctor. The doctor will talk to you about what's going on, your history. We're going to get a little more information. Then we'll do a basic exam to determine whether you have an upper cervical problem or not. If you do, we'll explain to you what we need to do to try to fix it. If you don't, then I promise you we will find a specialist that can help you. You have nothing to lose. If you don't live in the Charlotte area, uh, Google upper cervical chiropractor in your area. Do your best. Find an upper cervical doctor for yourself to find out if they can help you. If you can't find one, call our office. We'll do our best to try to find one closest to you. I hope this helps. Hopes this gives you some information. Quit chasing the symptom. Let's get the cause corrected so it goes away and stays away. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.